Hello everybody. In this clip I want to quickly discuss how we can perform a hill plot. And first of all, let's have a look at the hill equation which describes the behavior of an enzyme which uh, has multi subunits. So we can write a modified Michaelis Menten equation which would be uh, V the rate equals V max times the substrate concentration uh, divided by K plus the substrate concentration. Now that is our ordinary michaelis menten equation um, without any kind of sub, uh, subunit interaction or something like that. If we have an interaction between subunits, then this michaelis menten equation would change uh, in the way that we have the Hill coefficient as a power. And the power affects everything that has substrate in a way in it. So it would be the substrate concentration and it would be our Michaelis constant. Now, because we are no longer talking about a Michaelis Menten enzyme behavior, we would not necessarily call this Km. Instead, it is quite common to call this K0.5, which is basically the same as Km, but indicates that we are no longer working with a typical Michaelis Menten enzyme. So what can we do with this equation? Of course, we want to find this h, the this Hill coefficient, Hill coefficient, because it tells us about the um, cooperativity of the enzyme. Hill coefficient. I need to write this correctly. How do we get this uh, H? We now need to do a little bit of mathematical transformation. So we bring this term in the uh, denominator to the other side and we get V times K and I just simply write K uh, instead of K 0 0.5 plus substrate concentration to the power of H equals V max times S to the power of H. So we don't have any fractions here. We multiply the rate into the bracket. So we get V times K to the power of H minus V times s to the power of h equals v max times s to the power of h. And we now can uh, move everything uh, with s to one side. So we move that to this side. We've got v times k a to the power of h equals v max s to the power of h minus v s to the power of h. We can factor out s to the power of h on this right hand side and we get s to the power of h equals times I should say times V max minus V. So that's uh, what we would get. Just quickly remove that here. So it looks better. So what we can do now is we bring this V max times V to the other side. So that would go down here and we get V over V max minus V. We bring the KH to that side and we get SH over KH. And we are almost done now. 
with that. Um, so we can write the right hand side also as S over K to the power of H. And in order to find H, what we do is we take both sides uh, the logarithm, the inverse operation of a of anything to the power, and it doesn't really matter whether we do log 10 or natural uh, logarithm, uh, it doesn't have, doesn't make any difference. So what would we get? We get log of this term here, v over v max minus v equals and then we get this part here so we would get h times log of s over k and we can write this as h times log s minus h times log k. That's the equivalent. And uh, we are almost done now. Well, actually, we are done because that gives us the equation for a straight line. So here we've got y equals m x plus c. And that is a straight line. So how would our plot now look like? So what do we need to plot? We plot on the x-axis, we plot log s, log substrate concentration. On the y-axis, we plot this expression here that we have, uh, that's, that's our y value. So that's this one here. So here we plot log v over v max minus v. And what we hopefully would get would be something like that, a straight line. And the important thing here, the gradient of this straight line actually gives us our h. This gives us our Hill coefficient h and it tells us how much the cooperativity of the enzyme uh, here is. So here we would have a positive cooperativity um, and this point here, this is our intercept, so that would be uh, h times log uh, of k. Uh, usually that's not terribly interesting. This point here, however, this x-intercept is far more interesting because what does this x-intercept actually tells us? This x-intercept is actually log k. And uh, so with this hill plot, we plot log v versus v max minus v on the y axis and log s on the x axis, we can find the hill coefficient of the enzyme and the sort of quasi Michaelis Menten constant, and I probably should write it here properly, k0.5. So we can find these uh, values uh, 